Well, a number of retail chains are reporting their monthly sales this morning. Macy's were sales were up 7.3 percent in July, beating estimates. Abercrombie and Fitch also exceeded estimates, up about 7 percent. But Dillard's, more a moderately priced retailer, their sales actually fell 3 percent. Analysts had forecast a small gain. That's just a, a snapshot of some of the stores out there for bigger picture and bigger read. David Strasser of Jenny Montgomery Scott is here in studio with us. He's also one of the top analysts on retail stocks, according to data we keep here at Bloomberg. So I guess you're going to be right in what you're <laughs> going to say. Is the, the assumption <laughs> I'll take on it, that, yeah. David. Yeah. I'll um, but, that I'll leave. Uh, but but tell me, I mean, the, the uh, overused term is always mixed bag when it comes to reports uh, of same store sales. Sales. How do you summarize what we've learned from the month of July? Well, using the word mixed bag isn't going to sound too smart, but I, in some ways today was there were winners and losers today. If you look at the apparel, I mean, Aeropostale was a disappointment. You talked about Macy's and Abercrombie. Um, you know, the warehouse clubs, Costco, BJ's, you know, a little bit worse than, than we had expected. Uh, it seems the big ticket stuff is hurting. It seems like luxury generally has done pretty well. The higher end did pretty well. Neiman Marcus had a good number. On the other side, the, the lower, you know, just the, the more you know, middle of the road seems to be struggling still. Target mm -hmm. generally in line, you know, not a bad number, but even so within that, the bigger, the bigger ticket, the more discretionary stuff hurting. Is it, we're waiting for tomorrow's jobs number. Today, obviously, the number of claims, you need some perspective, but by and large, it was a bigger uh, increase than many expected. But consumer discretionary, when you take a step back, it, it's been actually on an, an upward swing particularly some of the retail stocks. Yeah, some of the early, a couple of months ago too. I mean, June and July, things have kind of definitely taken a bad, you know, slowed down, particularly around the more discretionary, bigger ticket, whether it's home improvement, mm -hmm. you know, electronics. I mean, you know, electronics, as you look at it on a macro basis, looks okay, but then if you take out sort of some of the strength from Apple and smartphones, the other parts of the category aren't as good. So, you know, it, you know once again, there, there is definitely winners and losers out there today, but, you know, overall, the trend would be that the bigger ticket stuff and the more discretionary still is, still is waiting. You know, I would say that Today, what we're looking at is now we're heading into back to school. Within two, right. Over the next two or three weeks, we get earnings from most of the retailers. We'll get a much better sense of what they're really thinking about, you know, the back to school season and even, you know, initial reads on holiday. I mean, we saw inventory start to build, you know, some orders, you know, back in March and April, we, were, we, we saw orders pick up. Now the real question is, are they going to be able to sell it? Do you think we get back to the April highs in the consumer discretionary area before back to school? Is there sort of a run up before the pause? I don't think so. I, I, I think this is going to just stay stay somewhat choppy here. Um, I, you know, my sense is that there's going to be more fear. If you just look at the last few days, when, com with, when companies tend to speak is when their stocks get hit. Whole Foods was one yesterday. Um, Lumber Liquidator, a small flooring company, same thing. When the companies are talking, it seems when reality hits is when the, the stocks tend to get hit most. Yeah. No, it's, a, it's an important sector to watch as we try to anticipate the amount of spending a consumer can, uh, can handle yes. right now. Thank right. you, David, for giving my us some pleasure. color around these figures and a sense of what to expect when retail earnings come out.